Having played zero hours of The Last of Us Part 2, I think it's high time I tell you exactly what I think about this game, and warning, made up spoilers ahead. The Last of Us Part 2 is the continuation of The Last of Us Part 1, and by extension, a grim look forward in the Resident Evil series. After the T-Virus has an illicit affair with a fungal spore, we see the results through the eyes of our protagonists, Joel and Ellie. However, in this one, Joel is not the main character, no longer having the stamina he used to, which is common among heroes with gray beards. Have you ever noticed how many characters start to become old and reluctant to fight once the art department makes their beards gray? Well, it happened here. Instead, we jump into the angsty teenage shoes of Ellie, the most important person in this world because she plays a guitar. This is, of course, a reference to Bioshock Infinite, where Joel could play a guitar and Ellie went by Elizabeth. But that was an alternate reality, as defined by the Troy Baker Unified Game World Theory, which you already knew about, so I won't bother explaining it further here. I've spent the last five minutes painstakingly looking over reviews of the game, and even watched this trailer once, so I can tell you that it is both a masterpiece and an utter disgrace that is simultaneously Game of the Year and proof of the decline of the video game industry. So basically, this is the video game equivalent of Mother, and it's got a little something for everybody. Some have been very critical of the messaging in the game, which of course revolves around Ellie learning murder is wrong, a lesson that she absolutely did not learn from Joel in the first game. Also, eagle-eyed fans will notice that her new arm tattoo is a reference to Jason Brody from Far Cry 3, who was also a wide-eyed innocent that started wholesale slaughtering people because of reasons. That also explains why Ellie has started a relationship with Citra's daughter. Citation not available. While the visuals and sound design might be excellent in true Naughty Dog fashion, I feel like they could have added much more detail to the chest-high walls you will use for cover. This is frankly a constant oversight in third-person action games, considering how often they are used. With all the focus they put on making the violence feel realistic, with staff spending countless hours watching acts of violence to get it just right, I feel some time should have been spent researching the realistic physics of sandbags. In terms of new mechanics, you can jump in this one, which finally allows you to play the often requested Dance Dance Revolution minigame. However, the lack of a dance-off boss battle with a clicker felt like a missed opportunity. Song suggestions, Oops I Did It Again, Every Breath You Take, and I Kissed a Girl. Again, a real missed opportunity. The Last of Us could have benefited from more giraffes, and I feel like their story was completely overlooked. You might notice just how little time has been spent talking about them in reviews. We can only hope if there is a part three, it will focus on leading the giraffes out of this horrible place and back to Pride Rock. In the end, The Last of Us Part Two is a game everyone can enjoy watching videos about, but likely won't play because a game focused on a collapsed near future America dealing with an airborne plague that makes people act crazy is not exactly the kind of escapism you turn to video games for during these uncertain times. IGN gave this a perfect 10 out of 10, so it's probably more like a 7. Also, a bunch of story leaks made some channels write this game off a month before it was released due to the shocking realization that there were shocking realizations. Apparently, you go from playing Ashley Johnson to Laura Bailey halfway through. Fun fact, Laura Bailey and Ashley Johnson are both on Critical Role, thus confirming the unified D20 theory, but you already knew everything about that, so I won't explain it further here. I give The Last of Us Part 2 three question marks out of five and four exclamation points out of five.